Hey, hi everyone. So in today's lecture, I'm going to give you an overview of PyTest and uh, I'll, I'll show you one quick example you can see. Okay. So what is PyTest? So PyTest is basically a testing framework uh, which generally you people use with Python and it provides an ability to create the test cases, create the modules, create the classes and the fixtures and all. And we will go with these features later on one by one in, in, uh, in next lectures but today I am going to show you how you can start at least a basic program or a program or basically how you can create a basic program of PyTest or basic test case in the in the PyTest with the help of uh, Python with the help of uh, VS basically this uh, ID okay so I am going to create a folder here okay say samples and in this I'll, I'll create one class so here's the thing so if you wanted to create a class or a, or a file in the pytest in which you are going to keep your test cases then um, then that file name should be star from the test prefix okay so let me so this is the prefix now you can enter any name let's say I test plus one and uh, with the extension of py obviously since we are using the python right now we need to import the module sorry import the module py test and we can simply create one method let's say values and uh, while creating this method you have to Again, you have to take care of the prefix values, prefix thing for the method also, right? So you have to add one prefix like test, okay? So that PyTest can recognize it as a test case. Now, in this function, I'll define two variables. So I have so working in Java, that's the reason I put it in the column. Okay, we can use assert a equal to b. So what asset is basically asset is uh, used to compare these two values okay and uh, if you want you can add comments with the hashtag okay with the hash symbol you can write like uh, i test is a testing framework python which is use which can be create sorry create the test cases modules etc okay and uh, okay so let's 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 quickly try to run this program okay so uh, and, and there is one feature of PyTest the best feature is to identify or to detect the test cases okay so pytest has this inbuilt capability that he can detect the test cases so whatever test cases you are creating this he can detect or you can say it's it's called auto discovery of test cases okay test cases okay so if i try to uh, see if, if you wanted to run your program in the vso you get to see one module here the test module but as of now uh, it is not I mean we, we can't see that test module so we have to um, make few settings okay we have to enable basically the pytest. test okay so to enable the pytest, test you can uh, simply use one shortcut key like control shift P and you can select you can select uh, this um, this this function basically this this feature like discover test as soon as you click on this it will ask you to enable and configure the test framework you have to click on this and you can select like which framework you wanted to use so with the python you can use this unit test pytest and nose and out of these three frameworks you can use pytest you can select on this uh, let's say this is a root directory which you can use for your uh, in which you are going to create your test cases okay that's it i think now you now you get to see this test module here okay if you try to run it it, it will show you like there, there is some issue in the configuration sometimes it happens that's not an issue what we can do we can quickly check in the so as soon as you click this create this project in the vso one one dot vso code file will generate one folder will come up and in this folder we have some settings like 
the py test enabled true it means that the py, py test is enabled for this project but for nose and unit test it is false so it means these for these test frameworks are not enabled and dot means like uh, the root directory okay so <coughs> let's see why it is not able to select it okay let me make few changes it takes some time generally but that's fine yeah see so it, it sometimes it takes time so no issues let's run this test case now and see it is failing because it is not equal to b what you can do is let's make it equal to see how our test case can pass you can run it from here as well as here this run test now see now this time it's fine so thank you thanks a lot for this lecture we'll meet you again in the next panel